We have a voicemail number. That number is 2192 David P. Here's a voicemail related to what we talked about yesterday regarding Gavin Newsom. I said if Newsom runs for president, they will go after him for having been married to Donald Trump's uh, or married, yeah, to Donald Trump's now wife, Kimberly Guilfoyle, Donald Trump Jr., that is. And here's a caller who says that Democrats got to turn that around. Hi, David. This idea that Guilfoyle dated Newsom is bad for Newsom, yep. I think, is a perfect example of what's wrong with uh, messaging from Democrats. OK, it's bad for Trump. What they could do is say Guilfoyle is, you know, was dating this flaming, you know, liberal that wants, uh, you know, all these liberal things. So therefore, it's not. A problem with Gavin Newsom that he was dating her. It's a problem with Trump Jr. Mm. Is he a real conservative? Is he a real American? Is he really someone for you, or is he just this phony that dates uh, liberals uh, uh, when you're not looking? It's a perfectly fine analysis, but Donald Trump Jr. at least for now isn't running for anything. And by the way, it's not an attack that would work on a, a Republican candidate. If Donald Trump Jr. ran for something and then someone came out of the woodwork and said, hey, uh, you know what? Um, Don Jr., he's really a left winger. He's married to this super left Kimberly Guilfoyle. Is it now? Nobody believes Kimberly Guilfoyle is left. Maybe she was before, but she's clearly not now. She spoke at CPAC. It, it will go. It will get no traction. That's the perfect example of something that will go absolutely nowhere. So they will make it a problem for Gavin Newsom. Should it be one? No, probably not. Doesn't really make any sense. But uh, that's uh, you're, you're thinking logically. And this is an electorate on the American right wing that does not think logically. We have a fantastic bonus show for you today. California leaders wanted inflation relief for poor seniors, and yet poor seniors are being left out again. Where exactly? We will talk about it on the bonus show. Secondly, Idaho Republicans have rejected an amendment allowing an abortion when it is necessary to save a woman's life. So you have a split on these serious but relatively rare situations. You have some uh, anti choice advocates saying when it is necessary for the life of the mother, it's not actually an abortion. Like it might look like the same procedure, it might have the same name, a TNC, DNC, but it is a different procedure. So there's the one side is playing the semantic game. The other side is fighting the amendments to allow for the exceptions. And we will talk about that on today's bonus show. And lastly, the Department of Justice has decided it will not prosecute a group linked to Stephen Colbert's late show after some unlawful entry arrests related to the Trump riots. Why is are those arrests not happening? Uh, what prosecutions rather? I'm sorry. And um, also, what case are the right wingers making that this is a politically motivated decision? We will have all of it on today's bonus show. How do you get access to the bonus show? Very easy. You go to joinpacman.com and you sign up. That's it. You can use the coupon code Obama. Obama. That's with an N to get a discount off of the cost of a membership, and you will get instant access to the bonus show, instant access to the commercial free audio and video streams and priority access to David Pakman show viewer town halls. The next of which is on Tuesday, one week from today, Tuesday, July. What is that? 26, 6 p.m. Eastern. We will be doing the next live town hall. We will be streaming it only on the Pacman live YouTube channel. This is the other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Pacman live. You can watch only if you prefer, but everybody's welcome to call in. And our members on the website will get priority access. All of it when you sign up at joinpacman.com. We will see you on the bonus show or otherwise back here tomorrow.